Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install Windows 11 for free. We will be creating a bootable Windows 11 installation drive that is going to allow us to either install Windows 11 on a fresh new computer build, or you can use it to troubleshoot your existing computer, whether it's Windows 10 or 11, in case there's any problems. And you can go ahead and use this USB flash drive to repair your Windows system. So let's get started with downloading and installing Windows 11 for free. The only thing to note is that on the desktop, it will show that Windows is not activated in the lower right hand portion of your screen. Now that doesn't show up when you're playing games and so on. So if you don't care about that, then you can just continue using Windows 11. And for the most part, you can do almost everything with the unactivated Windows 11. But if you want that watermark to go away, or if you want to access those specific features that are only available for activated Windows 11, users, then you can go ahead and purchase a Windows 11 key and enter it at any time. You are going to need a USB drive that has a minimum 8 gigabytes of storage available. You will also need access to a PC that's running Windows already, whether it be an older version such as 10, it should work just fine. And what you want to do now is go ahead and go over to the Microsoft website for downloading Windows 11. I will leave a link to this website in the description of this video. So once we're here, you're presented with three options. And the one we want to select is this one right here where it says create Windows 11 installation media. This is going to allow us to create our Windows 11 bootable drive. And you should hit this little plus on here where it says before you begin using the media creation tool. And it's going to go ahead and explain everything that you're going to need. And the main one here is that you will need a flash drive that's 8 gigabytes. So once you're ready to get started, go ahead and click on download now. And here you're going to go ahead and click save so we can download the media creation tool for Windows 11. And once it finishes downloading, go ahead and go to your downloads folder or wherever you save the file to and go ahead and double click media creation tool. And if you see a message about allowing this app to make changes to your device, go ahead and say yes. And then you'll see this screen where it says Windows 11 setup. It's going to go ahead and set up a few things. Go ahead and read through the notices and license terms and then hit accept once you're ready. Okay, you can go ahead and leave the defaults here and just click next. But if you do need to change the language, for example, you can uncheck this box here where it says use recommended options for this PC and then select the language that you need. But I'm going to go ahead and click next to leave it the defaults. And now you're presented with two options, one to create a USB flash drive and one to create a DVD. Now you're going to go ahead and make sure to select the USB flash drive. And again, reminder that you need a flash drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage. Now, before moving on to the next step, I do want to mention something important. And that is that everything on this flash drive will be deleted. So make sure to back up all the contents of your flash drive to your computer. And then you could always transfer it back later. But when you're going through this process, it will delete everything. Thing. So don't proceed to the next step until you've done so if you have something important on your flash drive. So once you're ready, go ahead and click next. At this point, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and insert your USB flash drive onto your computer and then hit the refresh drive list. And we see here that we have my USB drive on the letter E. I'm going to go ahead and select that and then click next. And now it's going to go ahead and download the Windows 11 installation files. You can go ahead and do other work while this is going on and it will give you a progress percentage so you know how much time is left. Now it's creating the Windows 11 media onto your USB drive. So it's loading all the required files that you will need to make this flash drive bootable and therefore allows to install Windows 11 on your new computer system or use it to repair your existing system if something's wrong with it. All right, now you should get this message that your USB bootable flash drive is ready for use. So you can go ahead and click finish. All right, and just for reference, if you do take a look at your newly created Windows 11 bootable flash drive, you will see that it's been renamed ESD-USB. So you see that name that is your bootable drive. And you're going to see this list of files here. Just make sure you don't touch those files. Don't ever delete them. And your bootable flash drive will work just fine. All right, and now we're going to jump on our PC. And I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 from your bootable Windows 11 flash drive. Now, these steps will work whether you're using a PC desktop or PC laptop. So just go ahead and follow along. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and insert your bootable USB flash drive onto the front of your computer case. And then you're going to go ahead and turn on your computer. Now, if you're working with a brand new computer build such as I am, it should boot directly into the Windows 11 bootable drive. As you see right here, we already see the Windows 11 logo. So that is a good sign. So now what if you're reusing an old drive that has Windows already installed on it? So I'm going to show you what to do in that scenario. So you're going to want to go ahead and reboot your computer. And you're going to go ahead and press the power button again, but this time you're going to go ahead and keep pressing the F8 key continuously. Just keep pressing as it's booting up. And this should bring us up to the boot menu 
It's gonna allow us to select what drive on your system to go ahead and boot from. But keep pressing it, keep pressing it until you see a menu on your screen. Okay, so this is the boot menu for my computer. Now, if you're pressing F8 and nothing happens or it goes straight into BIOS, then you're gonna wanna hop on Google and do a Google search for your motherboard's name. For me, in this example, it would be ROG Strix Z690E Gaming Wi-Fi, and it'll be followed by Boot Menu Key. So a quick search should turn up the key for your particular motherboard or computer system, such whether it's Dell, HP, or another motherboard such as MSI. But for most systems I have used, usually the F8 or F9 key will work along with the Escape key. So try one of those three keys before you do your search. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue. So if you are reusing an old drive with Windows already installed, then you should see it listed here in the boot menu. What you wanna do is go ahead and select either with your keyboard, go up and down, or with your mouse, and you wanna find and select your USB flash drive. So I know that my USB flash drive is a 64 gigabyte flash drive and it's a Samsung brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it there and then press enter. And this will get me to boot into my USB bootable flash drive so I can go ahead and just wipe everything on the existing drive and install Windows 11 on top of it. All right, once you get to the screen, go ahead and select your language and click next. Now you'll go ahead and click install. Now once you get to this screen where it's asking you to enter a product key, you're just simply gonna click on I don't have a product key here in the bottom right corner. And don't worry, you can always enter your product key at any time once the operating system is installed. Now on this screen, you also get to select what version of Windows 11 you wanna install. Usually Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro is fine. In this situation, we'll go ahead and select Windows 11 Pro and then hit next. Go ahead and review the terms and if you accept, go ahead and check the box and hit next. And now on the screen, you're gonna to wanna to select the bottom option which is custom install Windows only. That's because we're gonna install a fresh copy of Windows 11. We don't wanna upgrade an older version of Windows. We're gonna go ahead and start fresh with either a brand new drive or an existing drive that we're reusing. Now, if you have multiple drives in your system, you will see them listed here. On this screen, you'll wanna be careful and select only the drive that you're gonna be installing Windows 11 on because we are gonna go ahead and wipe all the contents of that drive. So in my case, I know that I have a two terabyte SSD drive that I'm gonna use as my bootable drive and I do have an eight terabyte drive that I'm gonna use for storage. So as we see here, the smaller drive is gonna go ahead and be that smaller SSD and the bigger drive is gonna be a storage. As you can see, it's not quite eight terabytes and it's not quite two terabytes, but it's gonna be just under because you do lose some storage space with the formatting of the drives. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my two terabyte SSD and then hit next. Now it will take some time to copy the required files from your flash drive onto your computer's drive. Your computer should restart automatically and it may restart several times, so just let it do its thing. Looks like it went through another restart. All right, and once you get to this screen, you can go ahead and safely remove your USB drive from the computer and set it aside. You will not need it anymore. So on this screen, you wanna go ahead and select your country or region and hit yes. Then you can select your keyboard layout and hit yes. And then we can skip adding a second keyboard layout. And once you get to the screen, you wanna to connect to your home network. And you can either use a wired ethernet connection or you can connect to your home's Wi-Fi. So go ahead and do one of those. And I do highly recommend that you do this step because it will search for any Windows updates and install them as needed. This can include security updates as well as drivers for devices installed on your computer. Then go ahead and click next. And here it's gonna go ahead and check for those updates and install any updates that are required. And once you get to this screen, you are required to go ahead and sign in with a Microsoft account. Now, if you really don't wanna create and use a Microsoft account, I'm gonna show you a way that you can bypass this by making just a few changes to the system. So if you do wanna go ahead and use your Microsoft account to log in and use your system, it does have its advantages. Now, if you really don't wanna do this, make sure you say, I don't have an internet down here below. 
And that's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna show you how to bypass having to use a Microsoft account and have the system actually let you create a local account. So if you wanna go ahead and create a local account and not use a Microsoft account, select I don't have internet. And now you're presented with two options here at the bottom, connect now or continue with limited setup. Go ahead and select continue with limited setup and then go ahead and enter your name and click next. On this screen, you'll wanna go ahead and create a password for your local account. Make sure you write it down because if you forget it, you will not be able to get into your PC. Go ahead and enter that password one more time for confirmation. Now it's gonna go ahead and ask you to enter three security questions. Go ahead and select one of the questions here and then enter your answer below. You're gonna go ahead and do that three times. All right, and then you can go ahead and choose the privacy settings for your computer as you see fit. And then go ahead and click next. All right, and that's how you can install Windows 11 for free using a bootable flash drive.